Okay, let's talk about lighting in FX and see where we've been and let's see where we're going. If I go back to my floor plan, traditionally what we've done is we've perhaps placed a quarter point, uh, half point in a location and I've just put one over here and I'm now going to show you my perspective and see where the limitations are. So you can see it's bright in the room, but it's also giving a little bit of a halo effect around this area. Well, we might debate that that could be uh, changed to a different height and brought out from the wall a little bit more. But I'm simply going to remove that now and show you what the new and exciting features are within Fusion. So let's go back to our floor plan and we're going to change the catalog from advanced graphics down to universal lighting. There is also Sensio lighting in here if you need Sensio. But what we've done in this catalog is to give you ready-made, recognized, free DCable light fittings. And they're all set at the correct heights. So anything that's mentioned in cabinet will be within the cabinet height. Further on down here, you can see that we've got ceiling heights. So obviously onto the ceiling. And we've got plinth lights, swan necks, and under cabinet lights. So let's go and have a look at under cabinet lights, perhaps. I'm just going to drag it and drop it, put it against the wall, let it go. It's going to ask me what sort of fitting would I like it to be? Well, stainless steel seems the obvious choice. And then perhaps I might go in and get myself a second light and even a third light. So there it is. Well, what's happened in Fusion FX now is that there is in this area, in the viewing tab, a button marked called Manage. And Manage recognizes every source of light that you put within that room. Now, the philosophy here is what's the difference between quarters, halves, and full point lighting? Well, it's several fold. First of all, you're going to see the fitment, physically see it. And what does that mean to you and your clients? Well, first of all, you can see the fitment. Secondly, now you can justify the charge for putting in extra lighting and also things like transformers, etc., etc. So if I were to now choose in here, perhaps the perspective again, you'll see that the last light that I put in was left with a, a red select button around it. You'll see at any moment. There it is. But if I go up to manage now, I can also hold down the shift key and click on the first and the second. So there, if you like, are a group of three. Well, what I could do is to give that group of three a name. The obvious thing would be to give it under cabinet lighting. And uh, the, the idea of this is that we could think of this as being a, on these three lights on a light switch. So there they are. What can I do? Well, up on the items tab here is a new area of control regarding the lighting. First of all, I could go and choose to have them with a color. And perhaps in there we might go and choose yellow. And all three lights, because they were on the bank and chosen together, have become yellow. I could perhaps enhance that lighting by increasing the intensity of the yellow. You're seeing immediately the overall ambience within the room has been increased. Maybe too much. Press reset. What reset does is to take them back to the original settings. And it doesn't mean to say we can't select any one light. There it is. It's now going to be colored perhaps red. That one individual is changing to red. So there's a red light. So what I'm doing now is selecting this second light, perhaps under cabinet lighting. There it is. And what that means is this can be managed very easily in perspective view. I could change the color of this one, perhaps to green. And lastly, and the most obvious thing to demonstrate here would be to choose this under cabinet light and go and change that one to orange, for instance. So there we have all three lights. Although they're on one lighting circuit, all three lights have been selected and are colored differently. Well, remember where these lights actually are. They're in the viewing tab. What you'll notice is once I deselected any one of those lights, if not all three, 
that the edit button has disappeared while well, simply clicking on select choosing the under cabinet lighting or going up to manage and clicking with the shift key held down one two three there they are all highlighted and what i can then select is to have me made that selection then come up to the items in the editing tool area and simply press reset now the beauty of this system is these are seeable lights they're lights that you can actually justify the price with and they are there to enhance your drawing and what you'll notice is that they do actually have some significance within the overall ambience of the room well let's go back to floor plan let's talk plinth lighting for instance plinth lighting found here as its name suggests and if i choose to use that plinth lighting i'm just going to tap it against the wall and bring it on to the plinth line again it's asking me about the fitment color and i want to go and get a second one and i'm going to tap that against the wall so it knows which way around it's going to go and thirdly i'm going to go and get another one and pop that one on the plinth there and for the final time tap it against the wall bring it forward put it on the plinth let's go and see a perspective view and see what difference those have made to the overall drawing again notice the ambience within the room slightly increased with the input of those four lights and there we are we have plinth lights shining nicely on the floor and again going up to the manage button you'll notice no area defined but four lights mentioned well i could click by holding down the shift key one two three and four and create that as a new area and the obvious thing would be to call it plinth so i have now two circuits within this drawing plinth and under cabinet lighting they are now working well for me but let's see what more we can do well if i were to go into floor plan coming up here and perhaps choosing in cabinet lighting so maybe this wedge shape here i've got a glass wall unit and i'm just going to put that into that area it suggests that there's a clash and it's also offering me to work with that so let's check out the elevation there it is it's actually inside the cabinet below the top shelf height so when we go and see our perspective we see the influence of light. So all in all, really, really significant, manageable lights within Fusion FX. Well, let's just go and have a look at one small bit more. If I go back to floor plan, come down here, and you'll notice that there's under cabinet strip lighting, bendy lights, all sorts of things available. Let's have a look at swan necks. Well, swan neck, I can pop that into that central position. Again, it's suggesting its name is cornice lighting. And what is the arm color and the fitting color? I'm happy with stainless steel. That seems the obvious choice. Coming up to perspective now. And there's my swan neck. Now, we might debate that that's just a little bit too strong so this is what we can do while it's selected i can go onto the items tab i can find this and i can choose the intensity of that one individual light and you'll find that it changes the intensity there it is it still has an influence but it's not quite as bright as it was first suggested I think you'll agree now this is really quite exciting and let's deselect that it's no longer there but it's in the manage tab it's there and a cabinet light again i could name those two so if i hold down the shift key one two go to a new area we could perhaps call this cabinet feature lights
and there they are I can deselect them they're now on a circuit of their own so you can see there's a lot that we can do within here and we've not changed any influence on light within the room we didn't need point lighting we've not added ambient light and it's all taken care of within fusion fx let's just do one small thing if i go back to floor plan in here i have a grid i can turn the grid on and in the home tab i can go and make sure that snapping is turned on to snap to a grid it's normally disabled it's normally looking like this but i'm going to go and put that back in there so that when i come and choose now perhaps some ceiling lights so what i want to do is to snap to that grid and one here it comes and choose a second so i can work that with the grid as being horizontally in alignment with the third and there they all are all working nicely for me if you wanted to one thing you can do is to select those three and move your cursor to a new central position and use control d and it will duplicate those three ceiling lights for you all in one go and i could perhaps come up there and use control d one more time and there they are they're in perfect alignment Go back to the viewing tab, turn off the grid. It looks a, a normal uh, set of floor plan. And then go up to the perspective. Wow, look at that. It's really, really brighten that picture up. What can we do? Well, maybe we could take some of those lights out. That would be the very obvious thing. But we can adjust the ambience within the room. There is a slide bar there at the top called contrast and we can slide that down wow far far too bright so what can we do well just here there's a slide bar contrast it used to be the old ambient light if you like it meant that it could be bringing it down it could contrast it i can adjust it but again it's still flaring out even with these controls it's still flaring out so it suggests that really there are too many lights within this room so i'm simply deleting two banks and let's go and see the influence that it has on the overall picture quality and again this slide bar perhaps too much mm, not getting a great deal of control in here so what can i actually do well, it's very, very simple. Remember, manage. There's my ceiling lights. So if I go one, two, three with the shift key, coming on now and then selecting items and intensity, I can turn these three ceiling lights right down. And there we are. A much better quality picture. And what's the secret here? Every light mentioned in this area is actually being sold by your company. More profit, better overall effect within the kitchen. And this is all found in either Sensio Lighting or Universal Lighting. It is a free download. How do I get free downloads? Well, I would simply come into File, Save My Design, I would then close that design and then go to manage catalogs check for updates it then goes on the internet checks the server and then allows you to go through each one of these if you need to removing the check mark just choosing whatever it is that you require and if you haven't had universal lighting it would be mentioned in this list and it would show not installed so there we are i've hoped you've enjoyed this masterclass today it's all about fusion fx and the need not to add extra lights other than the ones you want to sell